Hi, hi you guys, it's Yvonne. Another day thrifting. Let's see what we can find to resell for a profit. <laughs> or anything cute for myself, family, or friends. <laughs> Let's check this out. That's got raccoon qualities. It is a raccoon. Now I've never found a raccoon teapot. Oh my goodness. That's new. $5.99. I might have to keep that. I see a little chip on it, but I don't think I care. I don't think I care. I don't have a teapot. I've never even seen a teapot. It's my first time, so I'm going to buy it for $6. Might just keep it, right? I'm only going to use the word cute four times today, okay? Just four times. <laughs> That is absolutely it. Oh, look at the smiley on that. I don't love this doll thing, but look at the smiley. How much are you? $2.99? I might have to do it just because it's got a sunflower and a smiley. Let me set it there. No. Someone feels the need to whistle. <laughs> I, just, I don't know why that's so disturbing. Oh, look at these dolls in their little camo outfit. That's got some sheen to it. That's a cute little vintage piece that would match my... Okay, hang on. It'll come to me. They look like sunflowers, sort of. And they have this color on them that I collect. Darn it, I want to say anchor hawking they're beautiful they're not real high-end okay I'm gonna keep shopping I'll just throw up a picture okay let's throw up a picture be easier okay broken ears that's a shame those have a really nice quality about them not quite the Russian Laz I'm gonna murder this name Maz Lazar Road Mob. I'm gonna have to pop that up too. <laughs> $2.99. Let's pick up a few figurines. I think someone in my little side chat group wants to do also do a $1.99 for a Ray Dunn. Well, that's different. And that can go in the cat sale for a good price. Anyway, someone wants to do. Um, we've got some things we're tinkering with, like mermaids or under the sea or go to the beach you know so we can incorporate other things um, someone would like to do dogs I think Kate wants to do just poodles that's pretty I think I'll get that for myself there's a fancy carved piece of like a shorebird not no that's not a shorebird Kind of the John Perry style, the way it's mounted. I should probably really get that. I think I'm being weird today. Is that a kaleidoscope? Oh, it is. An Easter Bunny kaleidoscope. I'm going to get that for a giveaway when Easter comes, okay? I don't know if you... Let me see if this works. Let me find my camera. <laughs> Let me find where it's at. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's cute, you guys. It's got little flowers in there for the kaleidoscope. Lipstick, not vintage. Cute. Oops, I almost said cute. I'm not going to say it. I want to save that for when I really need it. <laughs> Let's get that for $1.79. That's lovely but okay she really wants to make sure that bell works <laughs> mm, better not better not on that you guys $1.79 boy some of these little pieces they're pricing down today throw that in the booth. It's only $1.79. That'd be a good 
I mean, I, you can't fill up a booth with just a bunch of cheapy stuff unless your market is like super, super busy. But I like to have a variety. Not everyone has a lot of money to spend. Okay. I feel like I need to get this shell too for $1.49. Not sure. I'd rather buy like a bundle bag. Some lady just went by looking at me like, who is she talking to? Or maybe she recognized me, I don't know. Some people just recognize me just from their thrifters too and like we're always at the thrift stores and we recognize each other. You know, being tall I tend to kind of, I'm easy to recognize, right? And then here I am always talking to my phone. Maryland. Anyways, yeah, they're pricing their smaller stuff not too bad today. So they must have got a really big donation and they just want to push it through. Or they got the memo. $24 wherever that was. How much is it now? $7.99. Okay, if that was cheaper, I would get that. That's a pretty bottle. I don't think it's... Oh, that's pretty. There's another little piece of Raku. That's different than anything I've had before. This is $9.99. Gonna have to pass. That's about all this would sell for. Regardless of who tries to market it as Murano. <laughs> on eBay and I would get that it's not bad price 30% off but it's chipped oh wait a minute before I talk to you guys what is this oh no oh no $3.99 okay Jocelyn's tinkering with a weirdo derpy sale and if she turns it into a train I'm gonna need that, right? All right. Um, it's only $2.99. I'm gonna add this to the other metal cattails that I got the other day for mom. So that's for mom. They'll look good together. There's Avon. Only the critters. I need to be more disciplined about that. <laughs> I'm getting carried away. Batman mug. Okay, I just wanted to double check what that was. I think, you know what? It was so weird. All of a sudden, somebody came in and bought all my pink depression glass. Yeah, this is the only one I like, though. This one here. It's either, it's, I don't know if it's quality enough to be the Fostoria might be the knockoff or not knockoff but inspired uh, Indiana I think it was how much was that $3.99 mm. I'll wait for it to be a little cheaper I think I sold all my red enamel wear and it did take forever because it wasn't true vintage so I think I'll pass on that you can get that at places like um, well Walmart even but also like, oh, is that another one? Are you kidding me? $3.99? That was Vintage Estate Company. Nobody wants it for $14. I'm gonna take both of them. Candles, metalwork. You know what? Wait a minute, what's happening? <laughs> okay, that used to be pictures. And then vases. Okay, they've rearranged. This will be interesting. You know what we're looking for, right? You guys know by now. Definitely. Oh, what? I wasn't looking for this. Didn't even know it existed. $3.99, but it is mine. Ooh, it is mine now. Acrylic and glass. Holy smoke, those are gonna look great next to my Dorothy Thorpe acrylic pretzel twist ones that I think I found at this same location for $4.99. I put that in the cart. It's um, a license plate purse. It is South Park, Colorado. Now it's not, you know, real. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not a real license plate. It's like commercially made. 
I'm trying to decide about this. I'm trying to think how can I upcycle that for a really cute like mid-mod little Christmas setup. So that's what I'm thinking about. Pretty happy with all that. Make sure these aren't anthropology. How about the brown? That name sounds familiar. I don't think. It's got made for anthropology vibes. Because that's another company that is on it when it comes to whatever's trending, we're gonna get somebody to repop it or at least make something, you know, like similarly inspired, similarly. <laughs> Yeah, having a day. You know what I mean. In similar style. <laughs> okay, new setup. Let's see what's going on. I decided to put it back. It's $9.99. I don't even know how popular South Park is even. So, and your average license plate purse, which is better quality than this. I mean, I've sold them for $20, $30 if they're someplace iconic. This is somewhat iconic, but I just don't know if it's still trending that hard to pop ten dollars on it so I think I'm gonna pass some Starbucks these are not, not bad prices but that's another thing that's just not selling that for a high-end price you know what I mean not like it used to <laughs> all right oh and they are stocking yes found the vases I don't <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, Holly Hobby. Decoupaged. That still has a little bit of a following. It would eventually sell at the booth. Everything else looks floral or contemporary. That's not Raku. Made in Vietnam. Might be a little old. A little bit. Like retro vintage. Okay, I think that's about it. Let me turn around, you guys. I want to turn around. Hang on. Because so now, since they've moved it, now on the other side, instead of crafts, is this stuff. Pressed. I don't see anything real that's real high quality with some lead crystal and cut. Maybe this. That's got some lead crystal in it. How much was it? The spoon's missing. Not a deal breaker, but. Canisters. A good canister set. I think I said this the other day, will definitely sell out of the booth. And I am not the only booth, I'm trying to get to this, I'm not the only booth vendor to say that. That's a glass pumpkin for $5.99. I'm really not trying to rush summer, the only reason that I would even anchor hawking, right? The only reason I would even want to is because um, it's just so hot right now. That's okay, we're still getting rain. Ah, that I should probably get. I need to look up and remember if that, I can date it hopefully by that birthmark to see if it was yesterday or if it's a little older. I've looked at these several times now, $5.99. Very beachy themed, huh? There's some money left on these. I don't want to pay $6 a piece. If they've made it this far, I do believe they'll make it to the sale. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'll survive it. Okay, I think that was it for this aisle. Totally new. Totally one Mickey shaker. <laughs> $2.99. Got a boo-boo on his nose. Well, not much yet. 
but I was checking out the beauty things like I always do and they do have an M-Styler. These things are often so new. Like somebody will got buy it and use it once and be like, oh, that's not for me. Because the way they advertise it can be a little misleading. If you already have straight hair, you don't want this for curling it. This is better suited for wavy, thicker hair to straighten it. Um, when I first started buying them when they came out and they weren't at the thrift stores yet, they were like 100 bucks, 80 bucks. You can still resell this for probably about 30 or 40, but I just keep them for when mine burn out. Did I add anything? Oh, and I added this brand new, still sealed, Avino Baby. It's like, has none of the crap in it, right? None of the crap. <laughs> and this vintage thing. No, wait a minute, sorry. I don't think this is vintage at all, but I like it and I'm kind of wanting it for like, maybe to make an assemblage of some kind. 499, that's not a bad price for that. That would make a cute terrarium. Barely enough room though to put the dirt in and make a terrarium. The hole goes down too low. Before we look at purses, I want to talk about this. Now I got mine at the bins, even though it weighed a ton. It came out to like, I don't know, six, eight dollars. This one's only 21. It's one of those things that you put on your desk and then you can raise it up when you want to stand and work. And they cost a pretty penny, so that's a good deal. Just letting local friends know, but I do already have one. <laughs> Some more Dr. Seuss art. We'll look at purses here in a second. Okay, I lied. There was nothing in purses to even get excited about. So I'm looking at Hawaiian shirts and I'm fascinated by something. By the way, I'm filming this on Thursday, August the 27th, and it is George the Antique Nomad's birthday. It's on my calendar, so I've already told him happy birthday, and I noticed a few other people have. Now, I pick up cool Hawaiian shirts, but I'm super picky because that is something that, you know, a lot of resellers do. I have never found a long sleeve one, and I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious. I've never seen, actually, I don't think I've ever seen anybody wear a long sleeve um, Hawaiian shirt in real life. But I'm wondering if George would think that's cool. And it's only $3.99. So I'm going to get it and either take it with me to Ohio and give to him or put it online. But I'm going to get that. Last night was the boho sale that Amy and I did on my channel planned it a couple months ago and we have so much stuff that we're actually going to do another one and I really like this for $3.99 this thing from probably India or Philippines it's only $3.99 and it's really cool the only problem is this is too stiff so like when you try to use it on a table or something I tested it um, this is too stiff for it to hang properly so that's a shame and this, <laughs> the glitter, is the soup, very superficial. So we have to pass on that too. <laughs> oh wait, let me see if this one feels a little better. Look at the bottom of that. Darn it. Okay, I might have to. Darn it. That one's fun. <laughs> See, one, two, three. Okay, there's one dingleberry missing. Bummer. It's a nice beach. That would be a great backdrop for someone who films. $9.99, but it is 30% off. Air Force. It's already bleeding through, though. Actually, not a lot on rounder tops. But, we still got lucky. Cast iron kitty cat. Probably spray painted gold, but you know that's a yes, <laughs> right? And can I have one more cute? Awesome, how about that? Let's say awesome. Oh, that's kind of cute though. 
think I just said I didn't want to look at clothing, didn't I? <laughs> I saw something. Oh, there it is. The telephones. Yeah. Okay. It's a Barbie item. You know, Barbie's blowing up. Yes. So, better get that. Working my way to the patio. I stopped at these. These are actually retro vintage. Fashion Victim 1996. So like a repop from the 60s, 70s. Sold again in the 90s by Fashion Victim. But they are 20 bucks a piece. So they're not worth quite that much to be able to resell them. Hey, what is this? unusual? Ah, it's got rhinestones in it, but it's 3D, like molded. A little too dark colors, too, for my taste. There's another one. I'm going to guess Fashion Victim again, 1996, made in USA like the other two. So that's retro vintage in my loose terminology, not, you know... 70s <laughs> late 60s 70s so that's a little much now if they were real you know like real real vintage like yeah that would be good all right let's peek out here hope i'm not going too fast for you guys i just want to cruise to the back oh nobody's here yay i just want to cruise to the back and here's those of you that just like the virtual shop here is that feeling of walking here you're pushing your cart <laughs> No music. Man, nice to have a break. I do not know why this one has to play their music so loud. Maybe that's the only way they can get young people to work. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just an attraction. Okay. Don't see anything, but we're fine because I already have some raccoon in my cart, right? Let's turn slowly. Wireless motion sensor door entry light. Oh, I do like that. It takes battery. That you'd have to replace that all the time. But you know what? That would be cool for like a pantry closet or something. Okay, let's go back inside. Well, since they're still putting things out while I was on the other side, I'm going to take one more cruise through. I did find this. I'm not sure what it is, but I think I'm smart enough to know this is something interesting. I think I've seen George pick up things like this. Anyways, for $1.99, I'm cool to take a chance. I'm pretty sure I can't go wrong. But uh, let me keep this down to avoid people, but just hang with me we're gonna take a peek in the carts and see if they're gonna be putting out anything we want there's like three of them okay not that cart there's like three of them stocking and I saw them over here so let's just take another peek and then they emptied the cart and went back into the back to get some more so let's make sure we didn't miss anything and then, seriously, I, I'm tired of fighting the music. This is the one by my house. Kelly Johnson, <laughs> just off the highway. And I am really think I'm going to leave this nightclub. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, I'm pretty happy with everything. This is super cool. Can't wait to find out exactly what it's called. I feel like I'm good with everything. Let me double check this shirt. Yeah. You know, there are some winners in this cart, so I think for me the most exciting is this awesome set of acrylic and glass candlesticks. <laughs> I'm going someplace else on the way to mom's. I've had enough of partying and <laughs> the music is so loud. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>